Good morning everyone. Today I am about to head out right now to Kohl's. We're gonna find a dress for mommy, right? Yeah. Because we are taking our maternity photo shoot this weekend. So I'm very excited about that to get that done. I forgot to put my ring on. That's what I'm doing right now. My belly is so itchy right now. I am gonna be 38 weeks tomorrow, but by the time you're seeing this, I'm probably already 38 weeks or... We are having a morning here today because for one, I like got no sleep at all and she's like really crabby today, so it's not a good mix. I basically finished all of my nesting that I needed to do. I didn't like film a lot of it because honestly, I don't think it's that interesting. Um, but yesterday I brought out all of like my pumps and cleaned them. So these ones are all sanitized and everything. The LV is in here. Um, this is my Hakka from Vivian and I cleaned it twice. I boiled it, washed it with soap and hot water. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it has like this sticky residue all over it and I cannot get it off and it feels disgusting. So I think I'm just gonna throw that out because my insurance gave me like this new one when I ordered my LV, um, but it's a different brand. It's the Lansano, the Lansano brand. I was gonna say the Lansano cream because I'm so used to that. But um, I think it'll work the same as the Hawka because it's like the same concept. Um, and if not, I'll just end up buying a new Hawka, but it's just disgusting. Like I don't know what is wrong with it. And then I ended up putting all of the bottles up there next to like Vivian stuff, so it's so crammed up here right now, but I don't even know if she's gonna take a bottle. Vivian literally never took a bottle. Um, but also, I never introduced one to her until she was three months old. And so, this time around, I think I'm gonna introduce it a little earlier and try to get the baby to take both a bottle and the breast because I just wanna be able to, if I have to go somewhere and not have to worry like, I have to be back by a certain time because the baby has to eat, you know? So, I just want to try to do that this time, but we'll see if she'll take a bottle. Um, yeah, and then we put up the swing up here. I washed this part right here, but this part I could not get off and there's like, looks like Vivian vomit was on there. So I'm just gonna end up scrubbing that part. Um, yeah, Mondo got a bean bag for Father's Day. So now we have this huge bean bag in our house. But it's kind of nice. It's really comfortable actually. And we've always wanted to get an accent chair to go here anyway. But we never like found one we really liked. And this is just fun and comfortable and we can move it out and pull it out for when we want to watch movies and stuff. So it's not that big of a deal that it's not like that aesthetically pleasing or anything like that. I need to put the car mats back in my car because I cleaned my car out. It was really dirty in the back seat. Vivian had spilt chocolate milk. And so yesterday I like scrubbed all the car mats and just vacuumed my car and wiped it all down because I think I'm gonna install a car seat today for the baby. Um, so obviously you'll see if I do that. I don't know why I look so pale right now. But I had them out here hanging to dry like the fabric ones and then the rubber ones are on the floor. Um, yeah, I just like washed everything because the chocolate milk was like creating mold. So that was not good. how great the lighting is because you're like in a cabinet but I am about to do a toy rotation for Vivian's toys because I have not done one since her birthday and she's just kind of had like a ton of toys out that were all new from her birthday that she wanted and I mean they've kept her pretty busy like she'll still play with them every day um but I just really wanted to do this before I have the baby one last time because then I don't know when I'm gonna get around to doing it again. All right, so I've completed the rotation. So I always leave out this little baby doll every single time. 
and then I leave out like the food stuff as long as the kitchen is up here. Sometimes we move this kitchen downstairs and we bring up like a different big toy, but the food stuff always stays out if the kitchen is up here. Um, I always have one drawer that at least has some type of dolls because she's super into dolls and pretend play. So I always have to leave something like that out. And then I always put at least one noisy toy. So one that makes noises and lights up or something. So she has her laptop. And then I just put this little doodle pad in there with it as well. And then I always do at least one thing that has a lot of pieces for pretend play or whatever. So usually it's either her makeup or she has pretend hair stuff or she has this doctor kit. So we've had the makeup and hair stuff out. So now she has the doctor kit. And then something simple, so we just have like a fidgeting cube, so that has some fidget stuff. And then she's been asking for her horse Legos, so we have that Lego kit. And then also, I did bring out her um, magnet tiles, because she's had her big Legos out for a while, so just thought the magnet tiles would be a nice switch up. Um, yeah, I normally only do one either Legos or Magna tiles, but I decided to do both just because she specifically has been asking for that and she hasn't played with her Magna tiles in a while, so I thought those would both be fun and entertaining for her to build. I'm in my basement, so the lighting is really weird right now, but we just finished lunch and now I'm going to open up this car seat. Um, I don't know if Mondo wanted to do it, but he's not here, so. but this is the gray Ho Mo's Nest Deluxe. So it's a lot similar. I wanted to try the um, even flow, I think it's the pivot or whatever, because that's like what everybody gets right now. But um, this is like literally the same thing, but just gray co version. So it's gonna be a lot of cardboard. So this is what the car seat looks like, which I really like the way the umbrella looks. And it's like one of those really quiet ones, which is nice. And then it has a whole, like this padding is so thick. That was one thing I didn't like about the one that we had when Vivian was a newborn. It had literally like the, nothing, like there was like no support at all. And if you know anything about car seat safety, the ones that they sell at the store that you like can put in there, it's not safe to actually use because it wasn't designed with the car seat. And so that was something I didn't really like about that one. I felt like she didn't have a lot of support for the newborn like liner, but this one definitely does have a lot more support and yeah, it's super cute. So again, this is the one that we have. And then this is what I really like about it, that like you can just pop it into like the little wheel part instead of having, my last one was like a whole entire stroller already, like one like that, and then you had to put the car seat into it, and it was just so big and bulky, so I really like that this one's more compact. And then here's like some of the features that it has. Um, but yeah, so. That's what that looks like. I love that this handle is like leather. It's very nice. And then it has this part that you can lift up for extra storage. So that's nice. And apparently she's got baby. <laughs> that's your baby? Yeah. Are you gonna help push her around? Yeah. But yeah, it moves really nicely. I've already learned how to fold this down and everything. The only thing I just haven't done yet is like the seat part. Well, I but gotta go to the store, okay? You gotta go to the store? Yeah. Going to the store, okay? I love you. Yeah, you. <laughs> Careful! Okay. You're gonna crash and stop. I just crash. Are you ready to be a big sister? 
Ah! It doesn't fit! What? Now in the car, and I'm about to install this. So, wish me luck. I think it said, I have it opened. It says right here that there's like a compartment and that the latch straps are supposed to be in here. Oh. I think I see them. I see the latch straps right there, but... Oh, okay, so there we go. It's kind of nice that they like can tuck away if you don't want to use them or if your car doesn't permit you using them. Alright, so I got it installed. It's very secure. Like there's like no give in it, which is a good thing. And it's centered. It's supposed to be between those two blue lines. So, looks good. And I love that it's one of those ones that have push clicks because otherwise it's so annoying. Um, and I like that it has this safety lock thing to push down. So, yeah.